The 2015 Polyglot Gathering is brought to you by italki. Become fluent in any language. Okay, if you allow, I would like to start the presentation. Uh, what uh, will follow is uh, our uh, short presentation of some our project and uh, projects and way how to facilitate online self study. Uh, mainly, uh, the lessons uh, learned building several course platforms. Uh, I am Peter Balaš uh, uh, in Slovak, uh, but called Petro because of our activities. We'll explain later. Uh, I apologize for my English. You will uh, now hear uh, the next victim of, of scholar system in Europe. <laughs> and actually, it's my maybe sixth language and the, the weakest one. I don't use it uh, daily. And as uh, Benny, so yesterday was my first, actually, first speech in English. So this will be the second one, uh, like before public. Uh, so please apologize on mistakes. They will be there for sure. Uh, so first, just uh, several ideas what to do and how to do it. Uh, we will speak a little bit about the aim and strategy, uh, something about some know-how uh, needed to, to, to create some, some websites or platforms, uh, the planning needed uh, international teams uh, to construct such uh, platforms. Uh, for this, uh, the experts and experience are needed. Uh, as well as uh, uh, to create a good content and to have in mind also the languages you want or you have to, to use. Uh, and of course, uh, design and user friendliness a very important uh, thing uh, by websites and linked to, together with some technical work. Uh, so what is the aim in, in our case? Uh, uh, is Aim is what, uh, something what, we, uh, what you want to achieve or what we want to achieve and the strategy is way to achieve this aim. Uh, and our aim as an organization, uh, uh, E at I, is a short of uh, education at internet. Uh, we are NGO uh, which promotes international collaboration and communication throughout the world. And we host uh, educational projects and create them. Uh, and meetings to support intercultural, intercultural learning and the use of languages and internet uh, technologies. And our strategy is actually uh, for to achieve this goal is mainly to create some free and multilingual online platforms uh, uh, using EU support for it mainly uh, and uh, of course also a power of volunteers and uh, a lot of enthusiasm. Uh, all these things together are needed uh, to create a good website or good platform uh, to learn language uh, uh, but we will explain it a little bit later. Uh, uh, behind our goals and aims also is let's say a philosophy of free knowledge. Uh, it was mentioned also by Duolingo here for example and these are close uh, linked with, uh, with our aims uh, so our one of our topics is to give access to the language learning platforms. Actually, now it is not only for the language le learning, but uh, in general uh, for lear online learning platforms. And uh, if there are not, uh, not uh, such possibilities, so we uh, start to create such learning platforms. So it's uh, in this uh, way. So if there is no way, let's make it, let's create it. Uh, so if uh, there is uh, missing content on the internet, okay, let's try to, to, to create it and, and uh, publish it. Uh, at the beginning, there was silence, or uh, in our case, it, there was Esperanto. Uh, and uh, this is also a good, let's say, uh, example of how Esperanto supports uh, multilingualism. It was our case and my case as well. Uh, so at the beginning, uh, it was in 2000, there was an idea, it was the beginning of the internet, let's say, the idea about an online Esperanto course, uh, because there was nothing like, like that uh, online, and uh, the idea of international communication through internet, and so you have lo easy lear uh, language to learn, so let's try to, to create something like that. Uh, so this was the, the first uh, try. Uh, first uh, project uh, to create such website. 
And then after several years uh, of such uh, experiences of, of uh, creation of this website and uh, the communication with the people uh, and so on, uh, this know-how uh, we've gained, uh, we try to uh, somehow re redonate uh, to other uh, languages and we try to, to build another online platforms for other languages. Uh, and this is what we do also in these days. Uh, so these are uh, some of our projects, maybe the, let's say, the, 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 the biggest or the best uh, of them, uh, which are, let's say, up to date. Uh, just briefly, so they are actually also maybe, yeah, not all, but uh, from the beginning, so Lerno.net is website to learn Esperanto. Uh, this was the, the core. Uh, then, uh, as our organization was uh, launched in uh, or, or registered in Slovakia uh, in 2005, uh, so uh, and we had uh, some experiences uh, about this language, and there was a lack, uh, lack or gap uh, of materials to, to learn Slovak uh, at all. So the, the next project was the website to learn uh, uh, Slovak language. Uh, next one was a uh, website uh, for German. Another one is Lingvo Info, it's a website about languages, uh, mainly in Europe. Uh, Monda EU is actually not a website about languages, but it's still now it's in 10 languages, so you can try uh, to use, let's say, CLIL method. Uh, you can read uh, uh, things about uh, globalism, about uh, alternatives, uh, about topics like human rights, uh, ecology, uh, climate change in language uh, you will find there and want to practice. Uh, Vortaronet, the biggest, uh, on nowadays it's online, the biggest uh, uh, mm, dictionary of, uh, of Esperanto. Uh, Computeco, there was or will be a speech about this uh, during this? In the it, yeah, it was, okay. Uh, it's a computer terminology uh, with so English Esperanto plus uh, some other languages. Uh, Tokiponad was mentioned already several times here, so we created all, uh, also a website uh, to learn this language. And it's even more interesting. You can learn one artificial language by means of the other. Uh, this website is made uh, <coughs> by Esperantists and for Esperantists. So if you already learned Esperanto, you can uh, buy or by means of Esperanto. Or through Esperanto learn Tokipona. Uh, then just small, let's say small projects. Uh, there is a website to, uh, to collect and publish, uh, uh, what's the name in English of? Joke. Yeah, joke, sorry. Uh, it's like joke site uh, for Esperanto. It's actually the first one. It was strange for us that there is not such site for in, in this language. So we, we've created uh, it. And then appetito, something for the vegetarians and vegans. Uh, the recipe, uh, recipe is in, uh, in Esperanto, uh, where you can share your uh, recipes uh, of uh, vegetarian and vegan food in this language. Then uh, we uh, worked in a team to create a website uh, for a business Spanish. Uh, we only, uh, in this project, we have only translated the website into Slovak and Czech. Uh, SpeakLearn is the one of the last uh, projects uh, we worked with. Uh, it's an app, actually, free web uh, app uh, for all three uh, biggest platforms, iOS, uh, Microsoft, and uh, Android. You can download it from this website, or there, are, there is a link for all platforms. Uh, there's, a, let's say, approximately 400 uh, useful uh, sentences and words uh, uh, in 20 languages, uh, mainly, uh, actually, all from Europe. Uh, useful for uh, mainly Erasmus students. So if you want to know how to ask for a beer or taxi in, in Lithuanian on, on, or Finnish, so you will uh, find it here. Uh, then uh, mluvtecheski.net uh, website to learn Czech language. It will be soon uh, available. It's maybe two months uh, of preparation now left. And then we will have to uh, wait a little bit longer for the Russian. Uh, Ruski.info will be launched probably end of the end, uh, next year, uh, and uh, at the end uh, some other topic: uh, cyber help, a website about uh, cyberbullying. So it's already not straight uh, about languages, but also about the dangerous uh, uh, stuff uh, online. Uh, but it's also in I think nine or ten languages. Uh, except of uh, uh, online projects, we also. Uh, 
uh, organize several events and uh, we are active also by publishing mainly each books, uh, DV DV uh, DVDs and so on. So this was the first project. Uh, if you are interested in this language, uh, people like you will probably need one weekend, maybe next, <laughs> next one. Uh, some of you maybe a week, okay. Uh, some statistics about uh, Lerno.net. So uh, nowadays it is the biggest website to learn Esperanto in the world with 41, 33 till 41 languages. It depends uh, how many uh, percent of the content is translated. Uh, so uh, uh, probably soon we will celebrate uh, uh, 200,000 uh, visitor, uh, registered <coughs> users. Uh, but so the, the website is from 2002. Uh, but we started uh, to count the, uh, the, the, the statistics from 2004, actually. Uh, so these are actually the update uh, numbers from uh, this morning. Uh, it's quite interesting. So it's pro approximately four or 5,000 people daily on the site. And these are the, uh, the let's say, the, the languages most used on the site. Uh, these uh, are some pictures from the site uh, you will not see now, because we are, uh, now we prepare the new uh, content uh, for the course uh, A1, A2. Uh, and so these are some pictures from, for it. Uh, just a small introduction. The course will appear, hopefully, till the end of the year. Uh, in December, there's a good point uh, for Esperantists to, to celebrate 15th of December, so we'll, we'll try to, to publish the, the new content, new course uh, then. Uh, the, the story uh, behind the, the course is really interesting. It's uh, actually a sci-fi story about the time traveling of, of some Esperantists. Uh, so you can uh, try visit it in December or January. Slovakia EU, uh, as already mentioned, so this uh, was, let's say, our first uh, official uh, supported EU project uh, with 75% uh, uh, co-financing of uh, European Commission. And uh, actually now it is the first and the only one multilingual website to learn Slovak. So if you really want to try, uh, you don't have a lot of possibilities, uh, mainly online. Uh, so you will probably find our website if you want uh, or not. Uh, and what's quite interesting that there is already approximately 2,700 visits daily for such, let's say, small uh, or uninteresting language. Uh, for majority of people, it's quite uh, quite good number. Uh, and uh, most used languages of the website uh, are also here, also quite interesting. Uh, so the course or, or the, the the site itself uh, for Slovakia, so you can find there some courses, the explanation of grammar, exercises, some games, uh, dictionaries, of course, uh, uh, possibility to, to read about Slovakia, about the cultural stuff, uh, and so on, and also the possibility to contact the users and, and uh, contribute to the forum, uh, or uh, write their uh, emails, or let's say internal uh, messaging system. So this is how, how, how it looks, the first side. Uh, here we, create, uh, we decided to create, uh, let's say, so video lessons. It was the first and last one. Uh, we made it because it was too much effort needed and uh, too much time consuming and the people to train them, let's say, and, and to prepare everything. Uh, so it was not so easy. And, and the next, or, or in, in the other projects, we decided to have mainly audio uh, recordings and pictures. Uh, so uh, uh, besides the, the let's say ordinary course, uh, you can also find there some addi additional content uh, to, to make the, 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 uh, the, the teaching or the lear learning more uh, interesting so you can find some uh, chapters of, of books in Slovak some magazines some videos we recommend to, s uh, to see about Slovakia about Slovak 
uh, mm, stuff uh, on, on YouTube channels, for example, some Slovak music, the traditional one, but also a popular music, uh, also some Slovak jokes. You are welcome to try to understand them. Uh, and of, of course, proverbs and sayings. Uh, what's interesting, uh, also we, uh, we built an uh, integral or, or this integrated vocabulary improvement tool. Uh, so if you have a text in Slovak, for example, like the jokes, and you don't understand the word, so you just click on the word and the translation will appear on online or so on the screen. Uh, and this we already developed in other websites even better and better. It's really big uh, help for, for the learners. Uh, don't have to, to open a new uh, window and searching uh, in, in uh, other uh, vocabularies or dictionaries online and so on. Excuse me, the graphical yeah. one you're going to publish will that be like this one? Even better. Uh, <laughs> this is now, it is actually, the let's say, the worst website because it was launched in 2011, so when each year the technology is going on and so now we also uh, will probably re make uh, also this uh, site to, to make it more, so for example, adaptable uh, for the screens of, of tablets and so on. Uh, because yeah, this was uh, made in the time before the, the smartphones and so on was so popular. Uh, so yes, the Russian will be even better. Uh, if you will visit uh, Deutsch Info, you maybe can have already a little bit more uh, idea how uh, the Russian website will look like. Uh, but also uh, this German website we will uh, remake uh, after several months. Uh, so this is a website quite interesting. We've got it uh, now in 15 languages, uh, inclusive uh, Farsi, uh, which was uh, quite uh, hard tough for, for the programmers or for, for the technical team to, to change everything actually on, on the screen. So the, all the buttons and the text and so on. Uh, but uh, it uh, yeah it it was it worked uh, it was a really good decision because there are quite uh, big uh, visits also uh, now we already have 8000 uh, visitors daily on this website uh, uh, with almost 300 million uh, 300 million page views the website was launched in 2013 uh, in october i think or september october so it's uh, one and a half year so it's quite interesting. Uh, quite, uh, quite interesting is also the most used languages, for example. If you can see, there are some changes uh, between the languages if we uh, see the, the all, uh, all days of the website and only the last month, for example. So the first one at all, let's say, are the, are the people from Poland probably or the, the Polish version. Uh, then uh, English, Croatian, Slovak, and German, and then there are some changes this month. So the Polish people this month was too lazy to learn <laughs> German on our website. This is how it, uh, so this is the first uh, site or the, the uh, home uh, screen uh, of the site. And uh, yeah, you just have to choose your language, uh, register or create an account and go on. Uh, what you can find here is, so, the curses, here are already the levels A1 till B1. Uh, also a grammar, some overview of essential rules. Media library, it's a new, let's say, uh, topic here. Uh, and we will also edit by the Slovak website and the Russian as well. Uh, then the dictionaries, of course, some useful information and practical info. Uh, on everyday life in Germany and Austria are very important for the people they want to, to study there or to, to get a job, uh, especially if, yeah, uh, at migrants, for example. How to, what do you have to do? So how, which are the rules? Uh, how, uh, which kind of documents do you need? Uh, uh, how it works with, with banks and so on. Yeah. Is it more well friendly? Sorry? Is it more well friendly? So ah. But blind friendly by iPad, you mean? <coughs> a mobile, ah, sorry, sorry. Uh, yes, you can try. <laughs> now, because this, this side was already tested by iPad, so uh, the, the Slovakia wasn't because there was no iPads in 2009 when we started. Uh, 
uh, but this was already tried or, or tested uh, by iPads. But uh, the next web page I will show you is already also for smartphones, so suitable for smartphones. Uh, and of course, the community is very important. And uh, here also was built the system of private messaging and also the multilingual forums uh, for the users. So this is, for example, the first lesson. So you have uh, courses, grammar, library, some yeah, this useful info and forum. Uh, you can see if you have some new messages from the other users. So you can also try, let's say, find tandem people online or communicate with other people uh, on the side. Or you can try to find there some people even from your country. They also try to learn German uh, or contact people abroad. Uh, so mainly the audio uh, uh, recordings with the text, uh, some illustrations. And you are going through the all say, lessons. Uh, in the system, you can also now you can click not only one word, but also the whole sentence uh, will appear like a translation of your language. If yeah, here is the, it is the, the German, no the English. Uh, yeah, so this is a bigger picture of it. So you can click. For example, you will uh, go through uh, or only on the uh, on the word Straße uh, uh, with the mouse, but the whole sentence will appear all as well. So the translation uh, of it. Then, so this is the the uh, the first sheet of this. So you can choose a level A1, A2, B1, and uh, the percentage. So if you are going through all the, the whole cur uh, lesson, so you will see. I'm not a good <laughs> uh, learner of German on our website. Uh, then Linguinfo, it's a website about 28 languages in Europe, and it is translated in 20 languages. Uh, I, would, uh, uh, I would like to hear your opinions about the website if you will visit it. Uh, so don't hesitate to contact me. We would like to hear your opinions and your expressions because so it was an uh, international team of approximately 10, nine, nine or, or 10 partners uh, from the whole Europe. Uh, you can find on the website also some general information about linguistics, but in, let's say, funny way for made mainly for, let's say, teenagers. Uh, and also some uh, interesting links uh, to language online sources and interactive game about languages called Geolinguo. Uh, so it's about the geology and the languages. So you can uh, try your skills in, in this area. Uh, the main, let's say, uh, the main aim of the game is to, to conquer the Europe. So if you know all information about all languages and geography of Europe, you can fight with the other uh, language freaks. Uh, so we have these four parts on the website. Uh, and uh, the, the main aim of this site was to encourage people to learn languages, or so something like Benny, but another way. Uh, and to, to present languages of Europe and the linguistics uh, in some interactive, funny way, for mainly for the children and teenagers. Uh, so who can guess these? Proverb, for example, and from which language it is? German. Ah, yeah. Yeah, you know. Also, alle toten Hosen. And this one, maybe for some people here, could be known. It's from Esperanto. It's from Zamenhof. Yeah. la guto mal granda traboras la stonon granitan, if I remember good. Uh, so here are some others. Then English is unter alle Sau. So your English is below all souls. Uh, sorry, your English sucks. So this kind of uh, 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 funny information about languages and about proverbs and so on, we wanted to, to, to share with, with people to show that languages can be uh, really interesting, uh, interesting and uh, that there, is, uh, there can be fun with them. Uh, but it's not only about such things. So uh, you are welcome to visit our website. So these are already the pictures from the linguistics part, for example, to explain to people how, how the languages uh, work. Uh, the, um, the topic we also uh, somehow had to 
uh, solved was the idea or uh, for example if you want to to be only online or also live or for example online versus paper as also Benny say, uh, said uh, so, for example, LearnUnet is the website to learn Esperanto, and after several years, the users asked, "Is there some uh, any um, summer Esperanto school, or where can I use this language? Come to some gathering and 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 uh, try to to communicate with this language I've learned somewhere, and I have no possibility to make it uh, in my daily life." So then we decided to create such event, and it is now actually also the biggest. Uh, uh, gathering let's say the biggest summer Esperanto study uh, it's held uh, in Slovakia uh, each year with approximately 250 participants from 25 countries uh, then the next uh, such project was Computeco it was first it was uh, launched as a web uh, website so online dictionary and the people the users asked okay do you plan also to uh, to publish it, it like a book? So we would like also to have it when we, I travel somewhere or something. So then we published actually two uh, uh, two versions or uh, two times the book. Then also Wikipedia. We work also with some people and we are engaged in several Wikipedia projects and help to to make this project more visible, not only in slow, uh, in, in Esperanto but also in some uh, other languages. Uh, we also uh, published some Wikipedia books uh, in Esperanto, how to contribute, how to become uh, uh, the editor and so on. Uh, as well, lingua.info, I've already mentioned it, so the last, our project from last week is this small book, maybe you already seen it here. Uh, so these are uh, these proverbs, all these proverbs from the website, you can find there also here uh, in paper uh, form. And uh, of course also Tokipona we, uh, we launched uh, as a website, uh, so the several months uh, ago uh, we also uh, published the mm, exercise book or the teach book of it. So these are some pictures from uh, this event uh, uh, to learn Esperanto. And the people there are really quite similar than, than here. Uh, there are also a lot of, let's say, language freaks, polyglots, and so on. Uh, so it's really funny to be there. So you are welcome this year if you have nothing to do in July, uh, <laughs> 11 till 19, uh, the next possibility, uh, because the next year we will not organize it because in Slovakia there will be the biggest Esperanto uh, event in the world. So the World Esperanto Congress with approximately 2,000 participants. So we will probably not have uh, time and energy to organize both uh, events. So here also some pictures of these uh, things we've published. Uh, and as I've mentioned, some, let's say, our best of. So the LearnUnet is the biggest and actually the oldest site to learn Esperanto. It's from 2002, so it's already 13 years. And uh, nowadays it's uh, fully translated, it's in 33 languages. Uh, and uh, behind this project, but also uh, behind a lot of uh, other or majority, uh, actually most of them are also volunteers. So, so by LearnUnet, there was more than 400 people they helped about this website. So to control the, the content, to translate it into own languages, uh, to communicate with the users of concrete language and, and community, uh, to create the courses, to control it, and so on. Uh, so the Slovakia, we are glad uh, to create the first and the only one, unfortunately multilingual site to learn the Slovak. Uh, uh, so Deutschinfo, also one of the mainly, maybe it's even the, the most, let's say, multilingual website to learn German language. The problem when we tried to, to, to ask for support for this project was we realized that there is almost no website to learn German like from other language. So we will find something from uh, Goethe Institute, from Deutsche Welle. It's almost everything, it's only on German. But when I am a beginner, it's not so easy to, to explain the grammar, for example, uh, for the foreigners. Uh, and so you will need some teacher or, or some lessons additionally. 
so we tried uh, to uh, use our approach from Lerno and from Slovak and also from, for, for German language. Uh, mainly when you are a self-learner and you are sitting somewhere as now or the people, I don't know, in, in China or, or Slovakia and whatever, they quite often don't have a uh, possibility or, or energy or time to go somewhere to learn uh, some language, but they would like to make it. So that's why the, uh, we decided to, to help such people. Uh, and so this is what we actually do. Uh, Lingua Info, I name it uh, the cutest side of our languages. Uh, if you know uh, even uh, better sides, <laughs> let, let me know. Uh, we will uh, be glad to, to, to compare uh, our <laughs> skills and to communicate with other people, of course, uh, which are engaged in such uh, topic. Uh, also, quite uh, interesting, uh, we are proud about was DVD Esperanto, it's this one. It was actually the biggest probably publication in Esperanto with 400,000 copies. Uh, it was like free uh, sample in Gazeta Viborcha uh, in the year 2008. Uh, and as well, this our Tokipona book actually was the first uh, paper teach book uh, of this language ever. It was also in Esperanto and a year after Sonia uh, has published the own book in English. Uh, and yeah, as I mentioned, the, the CES as the biggest summer Esperanto school. Uh, some ideas how to create such projects. Uh, so first, maybe uh, advice: work with the best, or be the best. Uh, it's not so easy, and I don't say we are the best, but we try to find the best people we need in concrete or for concrete project. Uh, and uh, for this, is uh, really need full the international cooperation. Uh, it's actually really a must, uh, so if you, in a case of German, for example, so we, we in the team, uh, all people except of Get, uh, Österreich Institute and the people from, from German Association, all was foreigners, so it's not so easy as a f for us for, uh, as a foreigners to create a content uh, logically, but we uh, as a foreigners uh, were very good testers of the content, so we uh, uh, was able to give uh, feedback to, to, to the teachers, let's say, uh, to the creators of the content uh, and say, okay, this is, we think this is not uh, clear enough or we will need more exercises and so on. Uh, uh, really important thing and I think it's a really essential topic is the choosing partners or a team uh, same as uh, Benny has said uh, if you have good people in the team so the, the work uh, run is running uh, much smoothly uh, so this for example is team from Lingvo Info uh, these are really concrete persons and they, they were resign, uh, re redesigned or drawn by our uh, designer uh, so and this this kind was really we were happy to work with uh, a lot of professionals from I don't know what was it everything actually it's Germany, Denmark, Hungary, uh, Hungary, uh, Slovenia, Croatia, uh, Lithuania, even some U.S. guys helped and so on so on, uh, and. Uh, and this is also uh, very close linked with these experiences uh, 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 you will need or, or uh, we need it uh, for the projects because you can have a good team but good as a, you can be friends or, or have a fun but if they don't know what to do it's uh, not so easy uh, to, to create a good content. Uh, the other problem is uh, if you have a good people like fr from the content uh, uh, point of view, but they are not so easy to communicate uh, with them or or if they are really let's say uh, mm, how to say it diplomatically uh, uh, okay was not so diplomatic but uh, yeah so not so easy uh, to, to, to work with, uh, so it's also uh, a problem problematic issue and, and you have somehow solved this, so you can choose, maybe, sometimes, uh, to find other people or find some kind of solution, uh, you, you will be satisfied or the team uh, will be satisfied. 
Uh, here I have to mention that our core partner is actually here from Berlin, Studio Gauss, uh, guys from uh, actually ori in origin from Lithuania but living in Germany already for seven years and most of the program uh, programming is their job and uh, we actually in this kind of this was also really good that we uh, found uh, these both things so we are really good friends from 2003 I think uh, and also uh, we are able to, to work uh, together uh, the methods used uh, in uh, these other projects it's actually some mixture or sometimes uh, it's, it's several of them uh, because the, the internet or the possibility of internet enables this uh, so we combine something, the, uh, sometimes the grammatical or cognitive or this immersion method. This is mainly by this media library uh, uh, used. And uh, what's the, let's say, our, I don't know, <laughs> benchmark? This all our sites are multilingual. Uh, and uh, the site content mainly, it's, let's say, has such uh, list of, of content, so it's the, the text, uh, then of course some new words, audio, video, dialogues or recordings, uh, the grammar, uh, exercises and uh, this media library, forum and internal messages. Uh, and now, during the last uh, years, we are working also, we work on uh, some apps uh, for several projects. Uh, what's really uh, helpful in uh, our job is the, let's say, our own translation tool, uh, which enables to create multilingual sites and uh, online work, and also uh, is a big save, uh, saver of time and energy, and also a big help for teams and for translators. Uh, I can show you uh, this system uh, uh, at the end of the presentation. Uh, if you will like to uh, to be a volunteer in uh, any of our projects, uh, just contact us through the uh, through the website. There are all uh, always the uh, info or the contact formula there, and you can propose uh, yourself and your uh, skills, your knowledge, uh, to add any of your any of uh, languages. We will will come. Uh, as already said, so by, by Lerno there is 33 languages, by Slovakia we have only 12. So if you are ready to help and you have the skills to translate any of the websites, you are welcome. Uh, you, we can give you uh, access to this translation, uh, translation tool and you can start work online with this system. Uh, if you will achieve, for example, 70 or, or 80 percent, depends on the site, if you achieve 80% of the text, uh, the, uh, your language will appear uh, between the languages online. Uh, also, communication with the users is very important and uh, actually the hard task, mainly of this uh, because of this multilingualism. So if you have side in 33 languages and you will receive some feedbacks. It's not so easy uh, to, to somehow, sometimes even uh, understand what the people need. Uh, quite often we have to use, for example, Google Translate to, to have the idea what is it about. So for example, we'll receive the message in Chinese or Japanese or, or, or whatever, even Hungarian. Uh, so sometimes we, uh, we try through Google, uh, through Google Translate if the uh, question is, understandable uh, so we uh, respond uh, if not we try to find some other uh, volunteers or, or helpers from from the concrete country and language uh, to react uh, the problem about this is when the, your website uh, will grow uh, grow up uh, so that it's really time-consuming task so be aware about this if you try or if you plan to launch some website uh, if you will receive really hundreds of messages and you want to be in touch with the people it's, it's really time consuming uh, but another uh, in another way it enables to be in touch with users and you can give uh, really good feedback from them and uh, this can help uh, improving or uh, improve uh, your content uh, or the content or the technical part you can re receive some feedbacks okay doesn't work sound uh, in my laptop or, or you don't have uh, exercise for, for this and this 
and you can think for the future, okay, let's ask for the next project or for the next uh, finances uh, to make this website even better. Weaknesses of at, at least our projects uh, and, and what we do is the first, the biggest probably, uh, we've got enthusiasm, we've got knowledges, we've got know-how, but not always we've got finances. Uh, because of this, our first aim, so we want to make uh, the, these knowledges, uh, 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 we want to make them free uh, or want uh, them to stay free. Uh, this uh, freedom of knowledge should stay the main or core of our activities. All our websites are free and we hope they will stay free, but it's also depending really uh, uh, on the finances. Uh, and of the sources we will tr uh, we will find or not. Uh, then, of course, time, a uh, big uh, issue uh, by some projects we will run, for example, the, the website uh, about Slovak uh, was supported in 2009 and 11, uh, and then we had two years of no finances for the project, but we, anyhow, it was, let's say, our child, so we wanted to uh, uh, to make it uh, 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 grow uh, or grow up, uh, we uh, tried to, to communicate with users uh, uh, to change some some things. Uh, we uh, have we received some feedback, and uh, we try to apply for next finances. Uh, and so after two years, we have received uh, we succeed, and from 2013 till end of this year. We, are ma uh, we make actually now the next phase of this project, so the content of B1, B2 will be added soon, and some other things as uh, apps as well, and some translations and uh, uh, changes also from the technical point of view. Uh, so the updates also very important. Uh, if we, we have some website, uh, it's also not so easy uh, to update it also technically and uh, the content. If there is uh, no volunteer uh, on time, or if there are no finances for it, so we yes we have got uh, several projects where we know that it would be fine to to, to make it better or, or to, to update uh, the the content, but we we'll have to wait the the, the uh, good time. Uh, technology as well as I already mentioned, uh, so we developed the websites from 2000 two actually so it was already several changes and now uh, the biggest one by lingua info visible so uh, this will uh, wait for the websites from the uh, from the past uh, learn on at slovak Deutsch info probably will have to change the the technical and the design as well uh, because of the changes of the uh, smartphones and, and tablets uh, and then communication uh, as well, so as I already said, if you will receive a lot of uh, uh, messages in a lot of languages, uh, sometimes it's not so easy to, to communicate and, or to answer uh, to the people to react. And of course also the partnerships, uh, if you have a team of 10, for example, partners, so not 10 people, but 10 universities or, or whatever, it's not so easy to, to be a friend with all of them, to, to satisfy uh, all desires of all people. Uh, sometimes you will ask, okay, can you create uh, one page or, or one, leaf, uh, one leaflet or, or uh, one exercise for our presentation about uh, whatever, Slovenian language, and uh, it should be uh, uh, short, should be for the children and, and, and so on. And you will receive 20 pages uh, from from professor uh, and argumenting, but these have to be there because it's everything is important, and it's not so easy to cl uh, to to clarify or to justify our approach. That but this is website for teenagers, not for the professors or, or doctors of, of uh, the language. Uh, so these are things uh, you have to be aware uh, to, uh, to work with. Uh, or in teams. A uh, uh, big uh, thing, and it was already mentioned several times here, uh, and it will be uh, growing actually an important topic also for the next or near future, 
Uh, so our projects uh, actually can uh, help improving the skills of students. Uh, we have already also some good, uh, let's say, measurements for it or proofs. Uh, for example, the biggest uh, visits uh, always uh, by Slovak websites are before the exams uh, of from, for the Slovak language for the Slovak students. So uh, the first plan of the website was to help the foreigners learn the, the language, but uh, online there was no uh, such good content, let's say, or the grammar wasn't explained online uh, in such a way as uh, on our website. So the children, they, are, they try to Google for example, nouns or, or verbs in Slovak, and the web and the Google will send them to, to our website. So there are some uh, ways uh, not planned or not planned aims. Actually, uh, we have uh, achieved uh, creating the the sites. Uh, also, a big uh, uh, questionnaire or, or uh, uh, ask for the future and this is also a problem by ministries i think at least in several countries i know uh, the online education uh, it's underestimated uh, in a lot of countries uh, and there is a big ask or a question uh, if uh, the online education should be an additional source or even a replacement of the classical way uh, to learn or to, to to learn languages even if you wish uh, I would just like to ask you, which of you learned all your languages in the school? Okay, you see, that's what, uh, what does this mean? Uh, because, uh, so we cannot uh, receive all information we want in the school. So uh, you wish or not, after several years, you will have to finish some, any kind of schools, if it's university or whatever. And then you are going, uh, let's say, to, to the live. And there you will need anyhow, you will need a new information if it is language or if it's uh, whatever. Uh, and uh, this uh, area is still underestimated uh, uh, by languages as well, but also in other topics. Uh, uh, my language I now I use daily and made probably the most important language for me I've learned after the school and I've never been actually in any uh, course for it for example and this is also a topic for the future the people will have to learn something new after the, the, the school time uh, and uh, there is also a question if we can combine these things so uh, we can use really online education as an additional source. We already have some, uh, also some feedbacks from uh, people. They teach uh, Slovak for the foreigners, for example, in Slovakia, and they use our website to give a uh, homeworks, for example. Uh, they open the website and they uh, uh, do some exercises with the students online uh, in the school uh, and so on. So this is actually the future. Uh, unfortunately still future and now, now uh, not uh, the power of now uh, so we will or wait for the content or to create it uh, this was also our uh, um, our way uh, we uh, we have searched uh, uh, we have searched okay is there something about Slovak language no okay let's make it is there something good in uh, about German language no okay let's make it uh, and so you can try make it uh, uh, for for your language maybe uh, or your uh, stuff uh, as well as now for example we make uh, something about uh, cyberbullying and so on. So if there is some missing content on the web or on online, so and you are professional or, or you know a lot of, about this content, so make it. Uh, you can find some resources, people. Uh, teams, uh, 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 technologies, and so on, to make it visible. Uh, and uh, this is also a uh, uh, related thing, the, let's say, the educational uh, revolution. Uh, I don't know which of you already know, uh, heard about unschooling. Yeah, also quite interesting idea, let's say. And this is actually maybe li quite uh, close to this uh, or replacement or additional source. So the idea of unschooling is you, you don't uh, say to, to the children or to the kids, you have learned this and this and this. You leave them, they, they will choose, they will find what, what they 
like to do and uh, so something like you will find some your inner voice what what you really love uh, where is your passion for for something uh, and uh, you became a professional uh, if you now if you can remember how many information you uh, information you have received in uh, in the school and how much do you use actually uh, so it's uh, not so uh, obvious that we really need everything uh, uh, from from the school and uh, we would need to s uh, search this information uh, in other places uh, so the last uh, 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 slide the self-study where and how and why <laughs> uh, so there is no more true that one fits them all so the the classical way I think it's already over but uh, again our ministries doesn't want to, to see it uh, and probably it will take time uh, then the individual approach is really important uh, so to know which uh, uh, information is needed uh, for for what kind of, of content online and then of course more info uh, sources and combination of sources so online learning live meetings tandems books uh, uh, even several online resources and so on uh, and of course time place finances it's really important to 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 be in touch with these things so if you are really motivated uh, to learn something probably you will not find finances probably you will find time and even place uh, to do this uh, so this was a short presentation what we do and how we do uh, Unfortunately, we probably don't have a lot of time for the questions. Maybe two, three questions, if you've got. Nobody? Yeah. Did Penny go to learn Esperanza at this summer school? Yeah. Just a quick one. When you were talking about the summer Esperanza school, I remember that Benny probably went there in 2008, and that's how he learned Esperanto. Yes, actually, I know Benny from this hour or some restaurant to study, and only after it, I actually uh, uh, I would be able to observe his, let's say, I don't know, the, the career. Uh, so he was one of our, I don't know, uh, learners. So you can ask him about the, the, the idea and about the, uh, his feelings of, of this event. Last question. Now the million dollar question. Okay. Under which license is the course material distributed? Uh, we don't use Creative Commons, but you are free, are free to use it for, let's say, any purposes. Because we have uh, other teams for each project, so we have also these, let's say, conditions uh, on each website. Uh, they are, let's say, modified, because also a German law, for example, for the German website is uh, a little bit so other uh, they have to be, for example, more information than for the Slovaks and so on. But you are free to use it, uh, even for for uh, commercial use, if, if you wish. <laughs> because we know about such people, so it's it's free to use for for any uh, for anybody. That's really great. It is just a practical advantage to use the same license for everything, so people don't have to read more and more licenses. Yeah, I know, but you will have to explain it to these professors of universities and so on. But we will try to make it for the next projects, probably. So that's it. That's time up. Yeah. Okay. So thank you and.